but I am very weary of what we are shown. I'm very weary of what we are told. You know, if there is anything that we hopefully have learned, and this is a big piece for me lately, that's really hard for humans to grasp, okay? We're in an evolution, which means that our consciousness is evolving, which means that we are deprogramming ourselves, okay? We are taking ourselves out of deep programming and mind control. And one of the things that we were shown these last two years is how narratives control us, how deep, deep, powerful, fear-based narratives control us, and how a lot of things are smoke and mirrors. So they look one way, and they're shown to us one way, but there is something much deeper going on behind the scenes that we don't see. And so what 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 I'm what I'm a, what I'm what I'm sure of what I know is occurring for the human collective and will continue to occur is that although humans have sort of figured out maybe they're being lied to, what's going to happen, fortunately or unfortunately, is we're going to realize that we're not as awake as we thought we were because when we are given new narratives, i.e. what's occurring with Russia and the Ukraine, we're going to immediately forget what we awakened out of two years ago, one year ago, six months ago, right now, which is that everything is a narrative. There is a reason for everything. There are many countries that are experiencing worse things than the Ukraine, but we're not being told about them. Okay. That's not to say that what is occurring in the Ukraine is not horrific. What I am saying is that we are only given what they want us to see. We are only told what they want us to be told. Everything is designed to control and manipulate us. Everything. So when I hear about Ukraine, I always go to there's something deeper behind the scenes happening. I do not ever believe what is being shown to me. And I always know that if it's being shown to me, it's because they want to control some sort of narrative. This doesn't mean that it's easy to accept that there is bombings happening in countries and civilians are dying, but that is happening all over the world. This is nothing new, okay? There are countries that are being bombed right now that we are not being shown. There are families being tortured and raped and murdered and and kicked out of their own countries that we are not being shown. So this is twofold. It is massive trauma that we are seeing, okay, that this is just what humans do. They literally will bomb another country. The consciousness around that is so low right? It, it's allowing us to see really unconscious trauma being played out. that has been playing out for thousands of years. But the deeper piece for me in all of this is, are you going to fall back into the trap of believing all of the mind control and lies that they want to tell us? Or are you going to start to critically think even deeper, even deeper? And it's not necessarily about figuring out the why of this unraveling. Why are they showing us this narrative? Why is this playing out? Because we will never really know the why. The deeper question is, this is part of a massive evolutionary shift in human consciousness. Everything is. And so personally, what are the lenses and the layers in which I am seeing this? Viewing it, understanding it, am I playing in it? Am I allowing my heart to break? Am I aware of the fact that there are other countries that are experiencing this that I'm not being shown? Right? There's there's layers to this collective shadow that we're watching. Layers to it. And in my opinion, this is all about control. So you have to juggle the fact that this is the narrative that they're going to tell us right now. 
<laughs> we are following the narrative because we that's what we do. And we are only told what they want us to know. And if you think otherwise, then you are, you're still in a massive amount of amnesia. So this isn't a negative thing or a dark thing. This is, this is just a deeper sense of awakening. This is a deeper awareness of, of, of everything, right? Because you have to juggle the human emotion around everything. And then you have to also remember that this is a collective shift in consciousness. So it's to me, it's not really about the war. To me, this is about mind control, manipulation, coercion, and tyranny. The exact same thing that we've been dealing with for two years. There's a story behind this. It's really, really important, in my opinion, to recognize that you are only told what they want you to know. <laughs>